You guys are going to get a kick out of this one. When you play various harmonicas, be they 12 holers or 16 holers or 10 holers, or when you play a note from one brand of harmonica, you're going to get the same note as uh, you would get on another brand, right? No. <laughs> I'm going to prove to you right now that they are not the same because they are not tuned the same. Okay, let's take one of my favorite harmonics. This is a, a chromatic tuner, okay? A chord chromatic tuner. When I play a note, it's going to show you with that needle what the pitch is. Let's try one. Now that's a dead on 442 hertz C. Okay? This is one of my favorites. It's like a little punk. It's got the grip cover open back and the ergo button. and They come tight from the factory. This is a wonderful harp. This is a Suzuki Gregor Mare that's been air tightened. Let's see what happens with this one when we play that same note. It's five cents higher. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, so this would really provide a C at 443. And this would provide a, a, a C at 442. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, let me explain that pitches are calibrated and that you can measure them and see, you know, um, how many hertz does a given note, uh, you know, register at when you sample it with a piece of equipment. Um, okay, well, here's an interesting factoid, okay? Does it matter? <laughs> Sometimes a lot. If you were just playing all by yourself in a garage or in a bathroom or something, it wouldn't matter at all, would it? But if you're playing with an orchestra, it matters a lot because anything that's not in keeping with their pitch is um, going to stand out. Now, here's another question. Do orchestras tune identically worldwide? No, they don't. <laughs> So like, you know, you'll go to one and they'll go A442 and you go to another and A443. Uh, really? Okay, well, here's an interesting point. I mean, you can always take a note that's a little bit sharp and by embouchure bring it down. I took it down under 442 there, it started at 443. So in other words, by technique, by embouchure, if you let your tongue come a little higher on blows and draws, it will um, uh, flatten, uh, flatten that as like a little bend. You see, so if one's a little bit, if, if the harp you're playing is a little bit too sharp, your embouchure can adjust it while you play and bring it down a little bit, but you're not gonna be able to get a, uh, a note on uh, a harmonica higher than what it's set at. Unless you start the note bent and then unbend it. It is possible to bend up, but you must start bent. Okay, but that's like a trick question, right? Okay, so anyhow, um, what I used to do um, was to have 
like, you know, I used to play this all the time, perform with it. And I'd have a couple different tunings, one of them, 442, 443, you know. And uh, when you get in your, how do you do that? You retune every read. How do you do that? Korg tuner, chromatic tuner. Make it dead on. Every single read has to be adjusted. Um, I would say the average person is going to notice this because when you play along with recordings, you know, a lot of times the motors on the tape players that were used before a piece was digitized, uh, will, those motors will run at a little different speed, so the recording might be a little flat or a little bit sharp. Typically, more a little bit flat for like stuff from the 1950s, 1940s. That's because the tape motors weren't running accurately at that point. Um, it is possible that they ran a different tuning, but they don't play that game much with piano because it would take quite a while to uh, retune the piano. But anyhow, I just I thought you'd get a kick out of this. Now, had I had an East Top, you know, harmonica or a Swan, it might be even a little bit sharper. Why? I think I, I think it's because the orchestra's there tuned a little higher, 443, 40, 43 and a half, something like that. But they, they are different, different pitch, you know, different pitches. So the harmonicas are not, they're not identical. Um, I thought you would enjoy that. I, I think that kind of stuff's a lot of fun. You're like, what's really going on here? And, you know. Uh, and, and, and does it matter? Sometimes. Sometimes it matters.